Hi, this is Amir with the Bulletin Board Heroes here on Share Talk for Monday, the 19th of October. Starting off with uh, 88 Energy, where we've broken this uh, near term triangle from early September, uh, resting on the uh, 50 day moving average at 0.32, while we're above that on an end of day close basis, looking for the top of the rising trend channel from back in April, as high as 0.7 pence, hopefully as soon as the end of next month. Uh, Besant has uh, certainly delivered all the way from uh, recent lows around 0.1 where it looked as though it was bumping along the bottom uh, to that bull flag breakout that we had at the end of last week. 0.23 or 0.22 with the first target, 0.33 the second target. So we're, uh, and that the reason for inclusion today is we're looking for the next uh, uh, potential uh, move to the upside. That could pro possibly be up to a uh, line of resistance that I'm drawing at the moment. Uh, from uh, what's that November 2018 and that's heading up to 0.48 so end of day close uh, through 0.33 and uh, at least while we remain above uh, I suppose that resistance area around the 0.25 zone uh, from last November and uh, 0.48 should be the target again uh, by the end of next month. Uh, Empire Metals uh, was uh, promised to go up towards the 5 pence area uh, quite a while back, obviously, we had that pullback uh, in the summer in July, and then uh, we had to sort of regroup from there. But uh, shares were always keen to find support at the floor of the rising trend channel from the beginning of the year and the 50 day moving average zone uh, between 2.5 and uh, 3 pence at the moment. And uh, while we're above uh, the uh, uh, intraday uh, sort of uh, mid October resistance around uh, 3.8 pence, looking to 5.5 pence, which is the top of the 2000 and uh, 20 price channel. Uh, if you're ambitious regarding the stock and think that it might do a bit more, well, the uh, next level up above, um, next level up after five and a half pence would be towards eight pence, which is that April resistance line projection. But uh, let's see if we can get to the five and a half pence zone first, hopefully uh, by the end of this month, and then uh, maybe towards eight uh, pence by the end of next month. Uh, stock of the day in terms of chit chat on uh, social media is probably uh, the following one when, when this chart comes through ferro alloy resources uh, here we've had uh, multiple tests of the eight to nine pence zone uh, and also clearing now the uh, 50 day moving average at nine pence itself probably just want to see now an end of day close through the 200 day moving average at 10.6 pence uh, to accelerate the recent recovery and give us uh, hopefully a target up towards that March resistance line projection as high as 18 pence by the end of November. Uh, Galileo Resources, uh, one of the mining minnows that I've been uh, highlighting of late, uh, we've basically uh, managed to get near to that uh, line of resistance, the main resistance line at 1.05 uh, earlier this morning, uh, looking for an end of day close through 1.05 to give us the bigger target here again by the end of next month, hopefully up to 1.5 pence, which is the top of that rising March trend channel. And the upside very much valid while we remain above the 50 day moving average at 0.81 on an end of day close basis. At this stage, only really back below the uh, 2020 channel at 0.7 pence, really delaying the upside scenario. On to Iron Bell, which is uh, back, uh, at least on a technical basis. Uh, here you can see that uh, we've broken, finally broken through a sticky resistance around the one pence area uh, with quite a, quite a bang, which is uh, encouraging. And now looking towards uh, the top of the rising trend channel from back in August last year, heading towards two and a half pence and uh, two and a half pence valid while we hold above a penny. And uh, the target there probably going into, I suppose, early December for two and a half pence, but uh, maybe by the end of next month, if uh, the shares uh, manage to serve up some decent uh, momentum. People are uh, getting obsessed by the Barry Road deadline for both Providence and uh, uh, Landstone Oil and Gas. Uh, nearly hit the uh, that initial target there, the two pence target there, the March resistance line projection at just above uh, two pence today, 2.05, probably the uh, actual level but to end of day close above 2.05 and uh, we could hit uh, a revised higher uh, target up to three pence which is that uh, December 2019 resistance line projection hopefully that would also be seen by the end of next month uh, obviously there is that end of October deadline 
Uh, upside argument valid while we hold above uh, 1.6 pence, which was initial October resistance. Uh, didn't cover um, Mida Tech Pharma uh, last week, although it was rather tempting, uh, just because we've had so many uh, false storms for the shares. Uh, and then they come back to the sort of the point, uh, well, I suppose the 27 to 30 pence uh, support zone. But this time it looks like we're on our way. Uh, end of day close today above the uh, 200 day moving average at 35 pence. Uh, should be enough to get the shares up to that uh, resistance line target, which we've long promised uh, from uh, uh, January at 55 pence. Big target here up to uh, uh, 100 pence, which is the top of the broadening triangle from February. So above 35 pence, hopefully Mida Tech is on its way and will go up and stay up. Uh, the the mining stocks obviously been have been the uh, stars of the show over the last week or so, and uh, uh, one of the highlights here has been Metal NRG. Uh, here we're just shy of that uh, uh, target that we had there at 1.4 pence, uh, the top of the November triangle. Uh, I think we've got, got up to 1.397. Uh, maybe maybe we'll get an end of day close early this week above 1.4 pence, and that would open up uh, a new target for the shares up to 2.5 pence, which uh, hopefully would be seen by the end of next month. That's a re resistance line projection from July last year. Uh, at this stage, um, only well, only really back below the old peaks uh, around the uh, one to one point one pence uh, level, really delaying uh, the upside scenario for Metal NRG. Kango also on fire at the moment. Uh, here we had a massive rise on um, uh, Friday, and uh, the shares uh, consolidated quite well at the best levels of uh, the end of last week. Uh, we have old resistance uh, around the 9.2 pence level from November last year. But uh, while we're above that, looking for a uh, best case scenario target here, August resistance line projection from last year up to 15 and a half or even 16 pence. And uh, looking for that to be hit by the end of next month while we hold above the 9 pence zone. Uh, Oriol is a stock which has been, uh, somebody asked for that on Twitter, which uh, it's a good time to ask for it, I think, probably at the moment. Uh, we've easily broken that uh, uh, point, uh, what's that, 0.51 resistance uh, from July. And while there's no break back below that, looking for a uh, March resistance line projection currently pointing as high as 1.1 pence. Hopefully that will also be seen by the end of next month. Uh, on to, well, just a few more to go now. The most uh, enigmatic of the selection of the last three is... Um, Orient Telecoms here. We're trying to guess where the top of the channel is. Best guess at the moment is that it's up at uh, 60 pence. Obviously, uh, this looks like a stock with a rather widespread, but uh, 60 pence at least the technical uh, target, the initial technical target there for a, a very, very thinly traded stock, which obviously some people might just uh, uh, not want to look at. Uh, stock which is um, Doing rather well indeed at the moment is uh, uh, Panthera Resources. Uh, here we've broken uh, what was uh, the last resistance on the way down around the seven pence level. And while we're above seven pence, looking for the top of that uh, broadening triangle from July last year, currently pointing as high as uh, 14 pence. Only really back below the neckline resistance uh, post, well, I suppose it's post uh, February resistance of six pence, really delaying the upside. Uh, scenario for Panthera Resources. Finishing off with um, a stock which um, uh, keeps on amazing on the upside, or amazing us on the upside, uh, and that is uh, Alien Metals. We've got the sort of spoke wheel of uh, different targets that the shares have hit, 1.3, then 2, and then the final target, uh, possibly the final target in the near term, 3.5 pence, which is that August resistance line projection. Let's see if the shares can uh, get up there uh, sometime during this week. Uh, that target of three and a half pence by the while there's no end of day close back below today's support at two and a half pence. That's it for me today. More updates tomorrow.